If you think that the number one obstacle for you to get a job interview is me, the human resource person or the recruiter, then you are absolutely wrong. So, in most cases, in most cases, many of the employers are actually using what we call the applicant tracking software, the ATS. The ATS uses a different language and today I am going to have to tell you how you could take use the ATS for advantage by speaking the robotic language. But before then, let me tell you something. At the end, I'm going to have to use a live job application, job advert that is going out right now from tier funds, that of a regional policy advisor. And um, so just stay in, stay tuned, as we are going to have to go together. And in case you're interested in applying for that position, please render me a service. When you go there, when you apply, I would like you to do one thing. I would like you to, in the area where it's written um, advert, kindly, there is a link I'm going to have to give you. Kindly input that link there, and that's going to be very helpful. Uh, I really appreciate, I would really, really, really appreciate if you could do that for us. My name is Ansem, I'm your happiest HR. Sorry, I'm a bit under the cold, I'm under the weather. Um, but I just felt that I should come and tell us how you could speak the robotic language to your own advantage. Many organizations, as a matter of fact, 99% of the 514 tellers organizations are actually using ATS, the applicant tracking software. And most organizations these days are also using and uh, small medium firms are actually looking also forward to be using the applicant tracking software. And what that means for the recruiter is that it makes life easy for the recruiter in being able to uh, do a quick short listing, a quick long listing. But that comes also to an, a disadvantage to many of the applicants who actually will have qualified for the role. And so today I'm going to have to tell you how you could actually use that to your advantage and bypass the, uh, uh, and beat the, um, the robot, the AI, in the system. You see, AI has come to stay with us, artificial intelligence has come to stay with us, the use of robot has come to stay with us. Some years ago I read an article titled, uh, that was in 2013, an article titled, The Future Does Not Need Us. And the future does not need us was because in the end we are going to have to create a robot which we are going to actually take over most of the aspects of the human job. And, some, and the writer did say that in the future those robots are going to become so powerful that they will take over human existence. And one, one, one movie which uh, most of us must have watched, uh, Ex Machina, actually depict that. So today, most of us are working with robots, Android phones, and the Android phones. We have, we have Siri, we have Alexa, and, and in the job market, we have self-service that comes in. So whether we like it or not, it's something that has come to stay. But that's not the topic for today. The topic for today is how we can learn the language of the robot. You see, one thing about language is that once you know how to communicate with somebody, you are able to be able to come on good terms and you are able to have a relationship with a person. So quickly, what language does robot speak? Before then, before I tell you about the language that the robot speak, uh, let me also uh, say a very big shout out to all of you. Uh, First, we started with one subscriber, then we have 11 subscribers, now we have 20 subscribers. It's all your effort, thank you so much. And uh, some few persons I can actually mention by name, based on certain um, things which I said, based on certain informations that popped up. Uh, thank you, Mulenga, thank you, um, Oswald, thank you. Um, Molenga actually did a good job and um, informed the people in Zambia. Thank you so much. So uh, my friends in Zambia will also be willing to also 
access your part market that are particular peculiar to you thank you for um, my friends in Ghana also we have a couple of them also here thank you so so much I appreciate that but quickly let me run to the robotic what language does the robot speak the first language the robot speak is this the robot speaks in pattern and sequence Robots are programmed in such a way that they only are able to recognize certain programmed pattern and sequences. And that means that they use standard language. So you must try as much as possible to be standard in our communication with robots. And by standard, what I mean is that when it's, if you are using a font, use the same type of fonts throughout that's going to be helpful and talking of fonts avoid the fanciful fonts and as best i advise you to stick to times new romans verdena uh, trebuchet um, arial those four fonts are at best what i'll advise you to stick Two, if you must use bullet point, use the simple bullet point. That's, those are easiest for you to have to use. Do you have to use pictures? I'll advise that you don't use pictures because most robots are programmed to see pictures as differently, at least improvement is still going on. So the best way to also is to use do not use pictures in most of your applications. So these five are one of them. Number two, robots use algorithms. They use algorithms, that's the same thing. The, the, algorithms is data fed into a system to be able to make a decision. So those are the ones that um, robots do use. And so if you must send an application, if you are sending an application, always be careful to use standard 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 font size formatting don't change your formatting be on uh, don't use colors they are not usually helpful and then one way for you to be able to have to also beat the robot you see in communication when you are communicating you should be able to speak the language that i understand so you should be able to reflect the thing that i say so usually when a job description is there the overview provides opportunities for us to see keywords so if you're able to use those keywords i've said it before and i'm still going to have to repeat it and then smear it across that's going to have to help and back again to standard back to standard i will have to say again is that if you have a job title with a position that um it's not universal let's say for example i am a brown warrior and a brown warrior i don't know what a brown warrior could mean in the organization but what a brown warrior um, could stand for typically for me that stands to mean that you are um, a brand um, a brand manager so i rather put brand I, I could put brand warrior and then down below i i, I put something that indicate brand management you may even wonder why we are using applicant tracking software, why we are using robotics, why we are using AI in our applications. Well, first, because a lot of persons are applying for roles and roles are becoming open to many persons and many persons who are applying are actually not qualified for the role. So having have to go, for example, in most recent application, that I received, I had 900 applications to go through. Now, if I have to go through 900 applications, let's even make the math. Let's assume that 15 seconds is what it takes me to look at one application. So now, for 15 seconds time, let's do the math together. 15 seconds time. So let's do the math together. So I have 900 applications, so 900 applications, that will be clock, that will be, no. Um, so that will be 
900 times 15 seconds that's 13,500 seconds divided by 60 to that mean that if I have to go through all those 13,500 seconds divided by 60 that's 225 minutes is it so 225 minutes it's it's what will require for me to go through 900 row and 225 minutes that's how many hours divided by 60 that's 3 hours 75 so that will be like spending almost four hours trying to sort out one application 900 and so four hours i'll tell you what that means that means that i go to work at eight o'clock so eight nine ten eleven twelve so i've spent half a day trying to go through one application who does that who really does that when most of the applications are actually junk so with the applicant tracking software what you have to do you're able to sieve through and get out the unqualified persons so you see why we have to use it it's quite helpful because if 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 if, if, if i'll tell you what it means if i have to spend four hours that means to say that somebody has left nigeria and is traveling to the us or the uk now but it, the person get to the uk that's that, that's almost half half the journey because it's six hours air flight so half the journey and i am still sorting cvs you know what that means isn't it so this is one of the reasons why we have to use applicant tracking software and so the unfortunate thing is many persons actually get taken off any of the persons don't get through because they do not speak the language of the robot so the language of the robot is simple look for keyword spell the keywords around try to maintain a single formatting use standard language standard words don't avoid pictures where you can avoid special 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 fonts and that could easily help you so now let's go to the application please remember if you want to apply for this role the link with the job yeah i'm putting this down here help me put that as part of your advert source so looking at this thing i'm going to have to do something um so i'm taking this position now and uh, i'm just doing a mock i'm not interested in this role i'm not going to apply for it and so here it is i take it and i put it down here inside here Aha, uh -huh. so you could see, I've just jumped back everything. So you could see, it has given me, it has given me my success, my chances to be taken for this role. 40, wow, 47% chance to be taken for this role. So you could see the skills that are missing out here. This site is called JobScan. JobScan is a reliable, uh, is is it is reliable site. So I'm using the the free version, the free part. Now, so there are some roles here now that when you look, you see that I could have done better. I could include them. So when I include them, that could shoot up. So I hope that you did enjoy that piece and um, I will try and get more rest. I had a long day despite not feeling fine. But I, I'm very happy that um, I've been able to bring this one out there uh, so that you could, um, could help you, support you. Uh, Sometimes we are not the one to be blamed. A lot of persons keep saying that, oh, I've applied to this organization like for a hundred times and I don't get anything because most often we don't even see your application. Like an example of the 900 applications, for example, 900 applications, that's three hours, almost four hours for me to have to spend if I take the 15 seconds and, and see everything timing. So I, I wish you the best. I just want again to say thank you to um, 
all of those who have subscribed please pass the news around tell people and then let's see how we can help support every other person to make it i am so happy um that you um you are looking forward to a new year with new opportunities like i keep saying it's not an easy road that we've entered especially with the pandemic where uh, most organizations are going to have to try to be able to curb down all the effort and invest more in technology but you can still break through we can speak the robotic language and we can move ahead we can we can we can fool the robot and we can we, we can place ourselves before the recruiter I, I i i'm asking you again to kindly subscribe pass the news around and thank you for everything one love to all of you i am ever always your happiest happiest hr